seen a lot of comments saying Japan was trying to surrender before the atomic bombs were dropped. So let's look at that. When Germany surrendered in May, it gave Japan an idea of what kind of terms they could expect as the war came to an end. So Japan tried to get ahead of it. And in mid-July, they went to the neutral Soviet Union to try to work things out, saying we're ready to be done fighting, but this unconditional surrender thing, not acceptable. The Soviet response was that it's probably going to be unconditional, letting Japan know they weren't really in a position to negotiate. Then on July 26th, the Potsdam Declaration was released, formally calling on Japan to surrender or face prompt and utter destruction. But 10 days passed without a response. And on August 6th, the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. And after three more days of silence, the second was dropped on Nagasaki. One day later, on August 10th, Japan said they were ready to surrender, but not unconditional. The emperor and the form of government both got to stay. So the bombings continued, not atomic, but conventional strikes across the country. Finally, on August 14th, Japan accepted the full allied terms for the unconditional surrender.